Hi everyone, I recently had the question, how do you do cascading dropdowns uh, with Lutz Lookup inside the new responsive designer? So I've got my customer orders form here, I'm going to click on the list and let's go ahead and build something just to show you how you can uh, add the list lookup control and do cascading dropdowns and then also do some other features that have been introduced over time. So clicking on the new responsive designer. So first it comes through with the title control. Now what I'm going to do is go down to the SharePoint uh, controls here. So we've got list lookup, management, other people picker. So I'm going to drag on the list lookup control. Now what I want to do is actually drag on two of them. So I'm just going to grab, actually I'm going to drag on three of them. We're going to have three cascading dropdowns. Now I've got a list of data. So if I go back to forms, which is my, my um, site collection, and we're going to go to the site contents and show what the data structure of this is. So site contents. And I've got a list called products. Now, products, uh, once we have a look at it, I've got to find it first. Uh, products, it's, I guess you'd say it's got a category, subcategory, and then a product. So you see the category and subcategory, um, and then product, and then it's got a price. So accessories is repeated many, many times, but I only want to show one accessories in the first drop down. So, or sorry, um, yeah, one accessories in the first drop down. So let's go and see how we do that. So I'm going to call this um, category and it's going to be not connected at the moment. It defaults to my current site, so I can just click on uh, there's a bunch of stuff in here. I need to do a cleanup. Products, I don't have to select a view. I can use a, a, um, a view filtering if I want, but I don't need to. Then I'm going to select the category column. Now the next thing, so if I go back to preview for a moment, it's going to, these other two aren't going to find any data because they're not connected. Now what you'll see, it's just going to keep telling me accessories, accessories, bikes, and so on and so forth. Now, that's not particularly useful. So there's a new feature in the list lookup control called display unique values only. So that's going to filter out and just give me the unique values. So here we get to say accessories, bikes, clothing, and components. So that's much more helpful because now we just get that, uh, it's like a dynamic uh, choices from a SharePoint list. Now the next step, we need to actually pass whatever we select from here into the next one. So we click on the next one and we say the same thing. It's not connected, it's using this URL. So now I need to go back to products again. So I can come down to products, wherever it's gone. Mm, products, don't need to select a view. And the next thing I want to do is do the sub subcategory. So I've got the subcategory there. And then I'm gonna say display only new unique values again. So if we come back here, we'll see it's got um, bikes and then it's got all the different types of things that come through here. Now, these are all the categories, um, but it's actually, as you can see, it's filtered out only unique values. But when I select bikes, it's still showing all the items. So what I need to do is come back and select the second one. I need to call it subcategory, I forgot that. And now what I want to do is to say, it says show all list items. So I actually want to turn that off and it's going to show me my filtering options. So I'm going to say, when the uh, category value equals, and then I can go and insert, I could put a, um, a text entry if I wanted to hard code it, or I can go to form controls and select category and insert that. So now if category from, uh, if category here is equal to this column here, it's going to actually filter it out. Now let's go and have a look and see how that works. So it's always good to just go and test, test out your form. What you see here is before I've selected something here, nothing appears here. Now I'm going to go to select accessories. This now goes and loads. And now here's my accessories here. Now, if I go to select bikes, you can see that this is actually changing. So this is how the cascading actually works now. And what you'll notice is if a form, um, it, when the form loads, list lookups actually uh, load asynchronously. So you won't be slowed down by if you've got 5,000 items or however many items in your list lookup. Your form won't be delayed until it has all the data. It actually load the form and well, while you're working, it'll continue to load the data, which wouldn't take very long, but still, it just speeds up the load of the form designer or of the form runtime. So and finally, let's go and fix up the last category, which is product. So I'm gonna to go to product. And again, we say product through here. And don't need to select the list view unless you really wanted to. And let's go product. And then we wanna say, show all list items. No, I'm gonna say, well, when the subcategory, 
is equal to and the form control. So we come back to the form controls and we can select sub product, uh, sub category, sorry. So now we're nearly there. We've got category, accessories, and I want to select, um, what do I want? I want a new helmet. And there are all my helmets. So that's pretty much how the list lookup and cascading drop downs work in the new responsive designer for Nintex Forms for Office 365. Hope that was helpful. Um, certainly leave some comments or feedback in the comment section below and let me know what, you, what else you'd like to see. Cheers.